All right, guys. So now a squat stance pull. I'm going to simply step back. And then I'm going to lean back into a squat stance. So you can sit anywhere in the squat. You can drop down low. You can stay relatively high or like you're sitting in a high chair. But in all circumstances, when you start to load up more weight, you do have to kind of sit back. Okay. Now, once I get into this, pull and then slowly out. Now, you don't have to combine the opposite upper extremity movement, but I like to. And I'm creating tension forward through this hand as if I'm pushing through sand and then I'm pulling with that side. Okay, from the other side. Now, if you're not using that hand on a push-pull, the free hand, you can place it on your trunk to make sure you're maintaining good IAP and then run your pulls with a little bit more monitoring of how you're stabilizing through your trunk. Another option in a squat stance pull would be to, uh, man, that was a funny word, would be to combine a hinge or a hinge in rotation. So, for example, capture, hinge, capture, Okay, and then you can create a little bit more of a rotation through the mid-back and then rotate on the back end. Rotation through the mid-back and then rotate through the back end. Those are your squat stance, horizontal pulls, or a row.